Today is the day that this server opens to the public, so if you haven't already, do check out the first part for instructions on how to get in here. And if you have been playing already, then I hope you've been enjoying it. At the moment, I am still playing on my own, because it's, uh, well, it's not Monday right now. But we've had a bit of movement up here from CSAT. So this is the invasion. They start from their support corridor there, and they take this airbase, seaport, and outpost. They've also taken this factory now, too. They've been kind of firing back and forth. NATO will take stuff back, then CSAT will retaliate and take it back again. They're pushing just like further and further into the island, so that's pretty fun. But for me, the name of today's game is going to be Gear. So, I think to begin with, I'm going to head down to a town somewhere. Let's go with Abdera over there. Yeah, we'll go for Abdera and Galati maybe. I'll see if I can find some of the military police. And I'll see if I can grab some weapons from them. We do have the resource outpost here as well. That vehicle, probably just full of medkits, but it could have something good in it. A lot of soldiers there, though. If I could get into one of those buildings, maybe I could do something, but... I'd have to kill one of them, loot them, and then... You know, have a bit of downtime while I'm looting. To then be able to get back into the fight with decent gear. And there's a roadblock here too, so that's going to be very difficult with the GMG on top of this thing. Though I am actually carrying the Vermin, the 425 ACP this time. Just because of how little the 9mm seems to do to the soldiers' rigs. There's another roadblock. Oh, okay, these ones have detected me. There's not a lot I can really do about that, unfortunately. I ran one of them over. Okay, so if there's two roadblocks out this way... Let me just mark these. And there's one also, yeah, right there. I don't think I can drive in this direction then. Just because the chance of me being detected is far too high. So I'm gonna have to go... around, back down the back alley past Agios Constantinos. And I'm gonna have to work like around this area somehow. Oh, actually, I just thought, I don't need to drive all the way over there, do I? I can just fast travel and go straight down here. Player groups can only fast travel to HQ or air bases. Okay, again. Okay, you do you. I guess I'll just head up to Oreo Castro then. I was originally intending to leave Oreo Castro because I had an operation in mind for the first time we did the multiplier sessions. But I suppose if we have control over the town, it just makes things easier for us, so... We should be in range to get a mission. So I'll just go grab one of those quickly. Probably like a support or something. Deliver some more lemons. Okay, never mind, I accidentally went for one of the logistics, but we have to steal or destroy an ammo vehicle. Which actually... Works in our favour, because I did mention that we really do need to get some gear together today. Because, of course, the only things people have access to are the basic things, and anything I've gathered so far on my own. So if I could get a vehicle full of, like, assault rifles, maybe some bigger bags, maybe some helmets and some vests, things will go much smoother at the start for everybody, so I'm definitely interested in that. Okay, so it's just out front like that. There is a dog there, which is concerning because it could just spot me. So really, I need to just be quick about this. You're right up next to it. Straight in. And off I go. Okay, they hit me a couple times through the windshield. But now that I have the bulk of the vehicle behind me, it should be fine. They tried firing some AT at me, but it went... I don't know where. I just heard an explosion. Maybe it was a grenade, actually. Who knows? The important thing is that they missed. Wait, no, that would be their grenade launchers, won't it? They have underbarrels. Um, what was that? That's what that was. That was a javelin. Well, a titan, but same thing. I really need to get the town between me and them. 
Oh no, then there's the outpost up there. Okay, well, I already ate one of those. So that's fine. I just want to hang left a bit, go down this ditch here and use the terrain to my advantage. Make sure that they can't get a lock on me from up at the top there. So I'm heading down here, put a marker on it just so I know where I'm going. Now, I did take a quick look in the back of this thing, and I really don't want to get blown up, because there's some good stuff in here. I'll show you when we get back to base. There's a chinny. Are they about to, like, faster up on my head or something? No, they're going to the radio tower. Almost makes me want to stop and pull some of the stuff out the back of this thing to shoot that down. Maybe I should. But to be honest, I don't think I should risk it. This stuff's just going straight back to base because there is some good shit in here. One thing that I'm definitely appreciating about using vanilla assets rather than using RHS as well is that they don't send attack helicopters to everything. And also their APCs are going to be a little bit weaker because the base game armor, tanks and APCs and stuff aren't very good. They can quite easily be taken down by one launcher whereas the RHS stuff sometimes just shrugs off damage like it's nothing. But I'm pretty sure that I'm home free now. Base is just over the horizon. The winding country road taking me home. Alright, that is mission complete. We got 300 money back, which means we profited 100 of the cost of the, um, the off-road that I lost to pick this up. The back of this thing. We have Sophia's. We have Moors, we have Mark 18 ABRs, we've got Titans, we've got M320s, some MXs, MCXs, there is Thermals in here, we've got some Sound Suppressors, MLCRs, there's some Yoris sites for the SMGs, 9mm Suppressor, if you want to take the uh, Sting out there, stick a Yoris and a 9mm Suppressor on it. We've got an MOS, a load of 762 in boxes, which will be for the Zephyr. We've got a load of Mauls rounds, 76220 mags, Titan AP, Titan AT, 4087 rounds, 6.530 rounds, and just a ton of 9mm there. There's some 556, some Titan anti air, orange smokes, there's some khaki 100 round mags for the MX in case you want to uh, rock a bit of green. 6.5 caseless, so if we go up against CSAT and take some of their 6.5 rifles, we've got a bit of ammo for that. We have some yellow flares, some infrared grenades, trip mines, slam mines, and a ton of UAVs. So let's just get all that stuff transferred over, just double check it's all gone, and I should be able to sell this. No, oh, no, I can't sell that, but can I garage it? Into the faction garage? Yep, there we go. So now if, for whatever reason, you want to drive that thing somewhere, <laughs> go for it. Okay. Since I took the logistics mission, I should still now be able to accept the support mission. Okay, and we have city supplies, which is going to... Oh, all the way down here. And the supply box is there. Alright. So that goes in there. I don't think I need to... Yeah, I don't need to pick any new stuff up. I can just get out of here and drive straight down there. Now that I have the 45 ACP, I might actually be able to take on the soldiers after they drop. They should be able to get through their helmets fine. I don't know if it's going to go through their chest wrecks though, because armor SMGs are still armor SMGs. Okay, so the arsenal just updated, and we seem to have unlocked an unlimited amount of 6.5 ammo and 7.62 ammo. Which means whatever was in that transport was actually enough to go over the threshold for unlocking stuff permanently. So now we don't actually have to worry about ammo. It's just rifles which are the concern. Hmm, I think if we end up restarting, I might see if I can configure it so that that never happens. Because it does seem like I've done that a bit too easy. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If people don't really like the idea of having unlimited ammo, I could probably change it on the fly. Okay, we are here. But there is a patrol just down the road, so I'm gonna have to deal with them now. Because as soon as I drop this box, I lose my undercover status. Just drop a grenade and pick it up as well, just to make sure they're actually activated in my inventory. Uh, okay. His face is literally made of tank. 
I'm just gonna have to treat myself because I did run into a rock while I was driving because I'm intelligent like that. And let's just offload this to start the timer. Oh, he's running around. He's trying to flank me. Push up on him. Don't let him take the corner advantage. And he's down. Okay, good. We have to do four minutes for this one now. But I can revive this guy, so I'm just going to do it from cover. Because the more we revive people, the uh, lower the impact on our aggression is. And we can actually recruit them to our side to get some HR from them. Okay, I must have shot him in the head or something because, well, it took a while to put him down. But I can now either release him, recruit him, or interrogate him. I'm just going to release him, I think. So what do we have in here? There's a sting. Uh, we don't want the sting, but I do want the attachments from it. So we'll drop that on the ground and I can open it like a container. So I'll take that uh, back into the box. I'll take the police first, actually. Yeah, and the cap. Take the blue smoke. I'll take his ammo and I'll take the pistol just because we don't have any of those. We don't need them, but I'll take them anyway. I'm taking fire from behind. So what was that? The outpost up top? Yeah, there's a soldier coming down right there. You see him just through that uh, middle section? Okay, unfortunately I don't know if I'm safe to revive this guy. I'm gonna go for it anyway. And then if I see the guy- nope, nope, I need to move. Come on, cancel revive please. Oh no, I'm treating myself now. Oh, that was really risky. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, I'm pretty much back now. I think that's my body in the street there. Everybody else's stuff seems to have vanished. Yeah, the supplies are still here. I think because I left the area, the town's just reset. Because it just loads whatever's around you. So I can probably just take my stuff back, right? Yeah, just take all the stuff. So that does mean that I've got like the extra ammo and meds on me now, which is good. Okay, I remember the police camp as well, don't want to leave that behind. I'm going to hole up in this building up here, and hopefully we should be okay for a little bit. I'll tell you what, while I'm in here, I may as well just repack my mags, haven't I? We've got the mod, we may as well use it. Alright, wonderful, so that's five full mags and one half mag. But that's better than four full mags and two half mags. So the mission completed, we got our 100 money from that. I've hung around for a couple minutes just to see if any reinforcements would turn up. Doesn't look like anybody's interested in coming down to say hello. Which is a shame because I basically got out of that free by just dying, which doesn't really help me because I'm trying to get into gunfights to get better at them again. Okay, let's get out of here. We're undercover on now as well, so yeah, there isn't actually any police anywhere nearby. Which is a shame. So, can I now fast travel back to HQ? No, because there's enemies near the group, assumedly up at the outpost. So, good to know that the radius for both the uh, fast travel and undercover system are different. Okay, perfect, I can fast travel. It does make me miss the uh, time manipulation on plus and minus from playing solo, doing this kind of thing. Because I do actually have to add the full fast travel time. And just over that, like, tenth of the map was 15 seconds. So I'm probably going to have to wait like several minutes later in the game. Okay, so let's get everything I don't necessarily need to carry into the box here. So I want those first aid kits. I'll keep the ammo here, but all of this stuff can go into the box. I'm kind of apprehensive of taking any of the armor we currently have, because we don't have very much of it at all. I think it's just those two vests that I've got previously. Yeah, so we have the chest rigs with no armor. We've got the slash bandoliers. So yeah, the only rigs we have with actual armor are the carrier light, the carrier green, and the police vest. So that's three rigs, that's all we've got, so I'm just going to leave them there. Oh, CSAT have lost their airbase and seaport, so you see what I mean? They just keep going backwards and forwards. They've lost the factory now too. Oh, and we have this town under our control, perfect. So we're going to get a decent amount of HR coming in now. Oh hey, would you look at that, I have been promoted to Corporal. Wow, oh no, fantastic. Okay, let's get another mission. 
We will go for assassination again, maybe? So that's another traitor, and they are currently down here at Sota. Which means I'm going to have to go the long way around because we've already established that I can't go down this route without getting shot. Oh, Seasat just lost an outpost again. So they've been completely kicked off the island. I don't know if you've played uh, Barbalani's version with the Seasat invasion, but they usually just completely stomp over, uh, over NATO. So it's good to see that we're not going to just completely lose the mission to them, just in no time at all. Weird time for this thought to pop up, but one thing I just realised as well is when I had that police officer surrender when I revived him back in the town when I did the city supply, I didn't have to kill him, he put his vest into the box for me. Now in the standard version of this mission, I used to have to kill people to get their vest because they wouldn't drop them when they surrendered, but knowing that in this community version they do actually put their vest into the box. That's a very interesting quality of life change there, which means that we can get vests and still release people. So things are definitely going to go a lot better than I thought they would in regards to gathering armor. Oh no, I'm about to be very, very upset. Okay, we're good. I've just driven like all the way from this around back around here just to go to Serta. And there was another roadblock on this road. And if that thing detected me, and I just got spread down outside this factory, I would have been so upset. Because of course, I can't fast travel to the towns, and I can't accelerate time when I'm driving around. So I'm doing all of this in real time. And it takes forever. Okay, here we are at last. This is going to be kind of hard again, because there is an outpost right there. Like literally right there. Maybe the play is to spook him, get him to drive off, and then follow him. Because I think he's in that building up there, right? And this is his car right here. So if last time is anything to go by, I should be able to stand next to him. Right here. He'll get spooked, but I won't get detected. He'll move off. Okay. I'll get back in my car, and I'll be ready to follow him. Yep, here he comes. So I basically just need to wait for him to get somewhere that's out in the open. There we go, he's just killed two people for me. Fantastic work. Now I can't leave the road in the same way he can, so this is going to be kind of annoying. He's just driving off into the hills. Okay, uh, let's get my gun out of my bag. I need to be ready for this. Because he should be going to this airbase here. Which is how far away? Three kilometers. So I have a bit of time to do this in. I might even just take him here to be honest. I'm just going to wait on him coming closer to the road again. So that I can leave my off-road actually on the road. And go under cover again when I get back into it. And then I'm just going to spray him down. Okay, here he comes. And easy as that. Of course, we do need to finish the job, so... If you ever wanted proof that 9mm is bad in this game, there you go. So that's another armor rig, which is perfect. I don't know why I'm taking his meds, I have literally no use for them. Ooh, anything in his car, actually. Just more meds. Okay, let's get out of here. But that is good to know, if you can spook the guy and make him drive off without losing your undercover status, and then just take him out in the wilderness somewhere. We're being spotted right now. I'm just going to drive off in this direction a bit, find a quiet road somewhere. So that is the assassination done, mission complete there. We got a decent amount of equipment, I think, as far as our rifles goes. So what do we have? We've got like some MXs, we've got a lot of Zephyrs, Mark 18s. Got these big old sniper rifles right there. In terms of ammo, we've got unlimited amounts of quite a lot of stuff. So there's the 6.530 rounders there, which is pretty good. There's the 7.6220 mags we've got unlimited. I think those are under-barrel flares there. 
So yeah, we're not doing too bad in that regard. Of course, we still don't have very much armor, and I think... How many helmets do we have? Do we just have the one helmet, maybe? Yeah, we have one combat helmet right there. And that's one of the bad ones, too. So my hope is, if we get somebody else in here, too, we should be able to take on slightly larger groups, complete missions a bit easier, so get some money together, and then start stockpiling armor so we can do some bigger and better jobs. I think we might have to take a look at the airbase at some point too. See if we can steal a vehicle while we're still in like a, a low wall level. Maybe we can do that after we move on the uh, the outpost and Dorio Castro up here. So yeah, we'll see how that goes.